Hey there, welcome to Mindset Monday, where we try to identify different mindset blocks that may be holding you back in your finances and in your life. My name is Kristen. Thank you so much for watching today. If you have not yet seen any of my Mindset Monday videos, I will go ahead and link the playlist down below and you can go and binge them all over and over. I am so happy you're here today and let's just jump right in. Here is today's topic for Mindset Monday. That's it. That is the secret to making massive change in your life. That is the secret to reaching all of the goals you want to reach in your life, whether it be financial, personal, health goals, anything. It doesn't matter. Consistency is key. Consistency is the secret. Now here's the thing, I know most of us don't like to hear that because consistency is hard. Consistency means taking action day after day, week after week, month after month, even when we're tired, even when we don't feel like it, even when we don't feel well, even when we're busy. But what I wanna focus on is consistency trumps effort, okay? now. Uh, let me just break that down a little bit. I think maybe an example would be uh, best suited. So again, if we look at losing weight, getting in shape as an example, this is just, this is such a good example for everything. So you've probably heard me talk about this before. So this is what I want you to tell me in the comments. Which do you think would serve you better in your journey to reach a fitness goal or just get in overall better shape? Would it be going to the gym or working out only two times a month? But in those two times a month, maybe you have the best workout of your life, right? Maybe you work so freaking hard, you leave it all there on the floor, you crawl out of there in a pool of sweat, but it's twice a month. Or maybe you're doing a lot more moderate workouts, right? So uh, you're not necessarily having the best workout of your life, but you're working out twice a week, every single week. Which do you think would have better results? I'm gonna tell you. Leave me a comment what you think, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Uh, which would have better results is working out twice a week, even if they're not the best workouts in the world, but it's consistency, and that is going to have the biggest impact. Just like if you were trying to eat better and eat healthier, eating completely vegetarian once a week is not going to have the same effect on your body that eating one vegetable along with every single meal will have. There's a misconception that when you're working to reach a goal or you're trying to make change in your life that you have to go gazelle intense, you have to go ham. And what happens is oftentimes that just leads to burnout and burnout leads either to inconsistency or eventually to quitting or to failure because we're burnt out and we give up. But what I want you to understand is just like I talk about investing very small amounts into your investments and being consistent with your investing and allowing the magic of compound interest to do its job, right? To work its magic, actually, uh, with your finances and with your investments. It's more important to make consistent investments in yourself and into your other goals, even if they are teeny tiny. So again, going back to our topic, small, even the smallest of actions, when done consistently, will compound over time. So that is how over time you're going to create lasting change. And the other thing is when you're doing it over time consistently, that's how you create habits. And once we create the habits, then these things can happen on autopilot. Then we're taking the guesswork and the decision making out of it, right? So the mindset shift I want to see you make is you don't always have to go all in. All in may work for some people, but for a lot of us, it does not. 
All in means an insane amount of willpower and self-discipline for an extended amount of time. And not all of us are great with that. I know I'm personally not. I am, I am not good with that. But you know what I am good with? And you know what you could probably be good with? Making micro changes or setting micro goals or creating micro habits. Instead of these big, huge, overwhelming things, just start really small and be very consistent. Focus on being consistent day after day with one small change. And that's going to lead to one small habit. And then once it's a habit and it's happening on its own, then you can focus on another small change to create another small habit. And eventually all of these small changes and habits are going to compound over time and they're going to have a huge impact on your life. Going back to our example with investing, small, tiny investments, $5 a week, right? $50 a month. They do add up over time. Now they usually don't have a huge impact on your day-to-day -day budget. They don't usually make a huge dent in your income that you're going to struggle to pay your bills by making these small little investments. But over time, when compounded, you're going to see growth and you're going to see it really pay off. So then when we apply the same concept to diet and exercise, just making those small little investments into your health or into your fitness, just starting with one small change so we're not overwhelmed, so we can just focus on getting super consistent with that one little change. Maybe you just cut out soda. Maybe all you do all day is keep yourself from drinking a soda. And for many people, that actually takes a lot of effort and a lot of willpower in and of itself. Think about that. If you're simply trying to cut out soda and you're someone who drinks soda all day, every day, yet you're also trying to force yourself to start going to the gym five times a week. And you're also trying to force yourself to track your macros every day. All of that is a lot you're pretty much setting yourself up for failure in most cases, not all. I don't wanna speak for everybody here, but for many of us, that's just too much to do at one time. So maybe we go really hardcore and maybe we kill it for three, four weeks, and then that's it. We're out of steam, we're out of energy, and we just give up. But if you focus just on giving up soda, sure, it may take you longer to reach your goals in the long run, but remember, when we're focused on consistency and we see compounding begin to take over, you're also going to experience momentum. And when you start experiencing momentum, it's kind of like that snowball rolling down the mountain, right? And it's picking up more snow, more snow, and more so it's getting bigger and bigger. It's going faster and faster. And momentum isn't necessarily fueled by all out balls to the walls effort here. It's fueled by consistency and compounding. Take a look at the goals that you're currently working to achieve. How can you break them down into smaller steps? And I know it's, it feels counterintuitive, right? But it's not, it's not. When you're only trying to cut out the soda, you can apply all your focus and all your energy to that one little goal. And once you achieve it, once soda is no longer a habit and you are in the habit of reaching for something different when you open the fridge, when you're thirsty, than reaching for a soda, then you can start to implement another small change. Now, you're not drinking soda anymore. Now, maybe you start focusing on drinking water instead, okay? When you're thirsty, you drink water. When you're craving caffeine, you drink green tea. So here you can start to implement other small changes. In the end, they are really going to add up and they're really going to have a huge impact on your life and have a huge impact on your journey to reaching the goals that are important to you and the goals that matter to you most. If you are someone who's constantly finding yourself setting goals and falling short, I want you to really take a good look and determine if this may be a mindset block that has been holding you back. And if it is, 
go ahead and leave me a comment of what just one small change one tiny micro goal that you could focus on for the next couple of weeks would be that will help take you one step closer to reaching your goal. Now, I hope you found this helpful in some way. Let me know what your thoughts are on today's mindset topic and the series overall. I hope you're finding these videos a good way to kind of kick off a brand new week, a brand new week, which is an amazing opportunity to start fresh with a new perspective and a new mindset. I thank you so much for being here. If you have a spare second, I hope you will give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you back here next week and I hope you have a great day. Bye. I remember the day when we started talking. We were kids and I knocked down all of your marbles, but you did not seem to mind.